Hello and welcome, you're watching Head to Head on UETV and I'm Oles Gerdjok. In the program, we are used to talking a lot about the revival of Ukrainian cinematography, but this time we are going further. The topic of today's conversation is films as a vehicle for communicating moral values. An annual festival of documentary on human rights called DocuDays UA is occurring during the last week of March here in Kiev and to discuss values which were the most prevalent in movie production this year. Here we are joined in the studio by Victoria Lashenko. She is the program coordinator of this festival. Hello and thank you for being with us today. Hello. So, Ms. Lashenko, first of all, let's start with values. Which ones are the most common nowadays in your opinion and which ones are depicted in this year's movies? Um, okay, this year we decided really to take and speak about some very basic levels. Uh, values, sorry, it's basically about um, equality in the society, yes. And we decided to take a look like on the different uh, levels of equality, so like from different perspective, from social, from uh, like religious, from gender issues. So if basically we decided to, to understand what is it equality, what it means for Ukrainian society, for Ukrainians, and also, of course, to observe uh, this like notion in European like film context as, mm -hmm. as well, not only European also, but maybe Asia and some other parts of the world. Uh, yeah, and uh, so as far as the topic is very wide, we decided yes to deep, uh, go like to specify it, and we have like few film programs which work with this uh, issue of discrimination, like discrimination of equal, some equality rights. And uh, so we have program for LGBT issues, for gender issues, for discrimination connected with the age, it's like on ageism, and also mm -hmm. about uh, like religious discrimination. So different kind of the specific topics. Yeah. Do I understand correctly, uh, all the movies which are submitted to, to the festival, they are on the and they're basically uh, about equality. Um. Like of course, more or less, yes, I would say. But that was that wasn't like the only one condition, of mm -hmm. course, because so it was not mandatory. It was not mandatory. It's like uh, it's important for a non-competitive program because like festival every year has its topic, like this one, and with this topic uh, we we work in our non-competition program. But we have a competition program which is an international, which have with many sections, and of course the topic of this film is uh, like different. It could be not only about equalities. It's like for uh, international for full length films for na for Ukrainian films and for short films so we have like three section yes three section competition competitive section so mm -hmm. it's more than that I hope well I know that this festival Docker Days UA is international and the first one uh, was held back in 2003 right so how did the festival change since then and what are the major achievements I would say that festival changed. Uh, it has changed dramatically because, like in 2003, it was a like small, uh, a much smaller event. It was more. Uh, it works more. Worked more with human rights issues, and the content of this festival was mostly Ukrainian TV films. So, so it was international. It's uh, from the very beginning not really. Then it became, you know, more or less and uh, more international festival because it's uh, it uh, took like more interna more international uh, content and then. From t 2010, when I joined the team, I think we changed it completely dramatically, like into the international film festival, because we started uh, traveling to another European festival. So observed a lot how our colleagues work work at, uh, at another big, really events festival. And also part of our team, there we have been working uh, before at Molody's Film Festival, another big festival in Ukraine. So we had some ideas, some. Uh, like um, well, some formats, how it should be basically, yes. And I think we changed a lot. And now it looks really like an international event. And when our international guests came to the festival, they really enjoyed it and say that it's like, yes, it's, <laughs> it's just documentary film festival. It's much bigger than human rights festival. Yes, it's mm -hmm. very professional now, I believe. Great. Well, approximately how many participants from other uh, foreign countries um, do you have this mm -hmm. year? Uh, I think uh, this year we have around 80 people, but I mean 80 foreigners, I mean like uh, film directors and film industry people. Mm -hmm, but but ne not necessarily from uh, different countries, so they could be from um, but less From different of... countries, but from Ukraine we have lots of guests uh, from Ukraine. We also invite Ukraine and our regional partners, because we have a big, very big network of film clubs and our regional partners in Ukraine, oh, they are doing screenings also after the festival all mm -hmm. over Ukraine. And we invite them, all of them to the festival 
festival. And so this is the whole crowd attending this festival, yes. as far as I understand. <laughs> About 20,000 people, 20,000 plus people attending festival like every year. I mean, this March festival. Wow, that's very impressive. Um, but could you present briefly um, the program of this year's festival? How, uh, how does it differ from the past year? And mm -hmm. Uh, it differs from the past year because we uh, changed the concept of the programming uh, itself. So we have still competitive program, but our non-competitive program, as I said, now like consists or uh, consists of like this uh, different programs which represents like levels of equality so which works with discriminations so every year we have like uh, we used to have main program and now we don't have this all programs are like equal and uh, this and also equality like, in yes, your programs too <laughs> equal programs <laughs> and also we we left uh, we so there are still some old programs i mean very popular one like doku best program which consists of uh, like the hits like documentary hits uh, from like uh, film festival world and also we have some retrospectives we have special program for yours so it's like doku young mm -hmm. program so they're still like because they're very popular among our audience and it was really it was not very good to like to take them away mm -hmm. um, but this non-competent part of of the festival uh, this is uh, very impressive so so basically this is uh, uh, n not about competition but more about drawing attention to some very important issues that mm -hmm. uh, modern society faces nowadays right yeah and also important to, to mention that not only film screenings take place but we have very uh, large uh, like human rights uh, part of the festival which consisted of panels talks some you know morning coffees among human rights activists so it's also about human rights of course so you bring up this issue very actively but um, is the jury also international if the if, if the festival is yes the jury is of course is international we have uh, i think uh, quite a big jury so it's about uh, let's say nine people of international guests and also we have student jury which uh, i think about five people five students ukrainian students so i mean uh, yes and uh, uh, they have like they judge different competitions and have like different nominations so yes but the uh, members of our jury it's like film directors it's programmers from our fe from other festivals it's like very well, well known and respected people in documentary industry in, uh, abroad and also also human rights activists because mm -hmm. we have a special jury for, for this nomination docu rights award yeah and as far as i know some part of the uh, program contest uh, will be judged by the students yes why um, because, uh, like, I think Doki Days is still a very young festival and have this young, uh, like, uh, very vivid, you know, um, spirit and uh, yeah, uh, young people, let's say, it's the major part of our audience still, mm -hmm. especially students. You want to keep their interest. Yes, we want to re represent their voice. <laughs> and also, this, this student jury, they have the most hard job because they have to watch all films, you know, mm -hmm. for all competitions. Because if, because if national competition has its own jury and international, it's Oh, they have to watch all of films. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the yes, but finally it's also interesting because they have to create their own prize, you know, their own awards. So they have to be creative, inventive, yes, and participate festival pretty much. Screening of which movie is opening the festival? Uh, it's Wom uh, Woman in Capture. It's Hungarian documentary film which uh, was also premiered at ITFA, big festival in Amsterdam this year. And it's very provocative. Very. What is it about? It's basically about modern slavery, which really, really shocking facts because also when I watched the film, I couldn't believe my eyes because it's still like happening nowadays. So it's basically a story about like a middle-aged woman who became a slave, real slave, in one Hungarian family. It's like human trafficking. Mm, yeah, it's like something like that, but not not like this. she was forced, you know, she just um, she just came to this home and it's, finally she found herself uh, just uh, serving these people, so they just took away her passport. She also had to work, to go for daily work and gave all money them to them. And uh, she spent like, uh, I think, more than 10 years in this family. And it's really, you know, <laughs> yes. It's, so is this movie based on the true events? Yes, it's true story. And it's wow. very interesting because the director, she like uh, became a part of the family. She, so basically she came to the 
family and ask the masters of this like woman to. Oh yeah, because it's documentary, of course. It's yeah, but it's very also interesting because the uh, director she also influenced uh, the life of this character. So in the end, you'll see everything will change, and th also thanks to to the director. Basically. But this movie is presented at Docu Days UA. Will it be possible to watch them later on somewhere in Ukraine, um, or maybe online? Unfortunately, not because Ukraine is still very um, <laughs> do doesn't have like very wide market, you know, for documentaries. But still, uh, there will be two parallel screens on the opening night of the festival, and then on the next day of the opening, it will be it will be March 24th, Saturday morning. There will be uh, like third screening in the morning, and it's like open of screening this particular of movie. this particular. What about film? other movies? So there is no chance to um, watch this movie except uh, per uh, attending the festival. Um, yes, unfortunately, there are some possibilities because we have also um, some projects. Uh, for example, we have Traveling Film Festival, which I also already mentioned before. So some part, some films from our March program will travel, will, they will be traveling all over Ukraine in the autumn, thanks, thanks to our regional partners. But that will be mostly like uh, compet competition part of the film, of our program. And some films also, they, we took them to a distribution project. We have Doku Hit, which is let's say commercial distribution so i think three best films from doku best program will be like distributed locally in kiev and few other cities in ukraine so it's limited distribution but still we try to so there is to some, do something oh, that's going to be very interesting interesting to watch and what about what about the the awards for the for, for this competent part of the of the festival so, like in uh, every comp competition, competition has its uh, own like main award, and there are also there are the sp like special diplomas, like uh, yes. And we are except for money prize, we are also preparing special, you know, like um, special things to <laughs> to keep them like this memory. Well, special awards. Yes, yeah, special awards, and always every year it's comp it, it changes. So our designers works for this like for this award. Yeah, and uh, I mean that also we have a audience award prize, and also audience also can choose like the winner of their mm -hmm. own nomination. Yeah. So and what about this year's prize? What about the design for this year? Uh, it's still secret, you know. I <laughs> I haven't seen them yet. Our art director, he yes, he's now like finalizing. Uh, all the process, but I think it, it, uh, this year I, I think it will be re they will be really beautiful because mm -hmm. I saw it a little bit. But as, as far as I understand, the award concerns the idea and the main uh, topic of the festival. If if this year it's yeah. about equality, then the award probably will be some symbol of equality. Usually, usually it happens like this. I remember the year uh, after Maidan when we also have a festival. It was in March, and our prizes was you know these bricks, the stones from Maidan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was That's of course very creative. So very <laughs> but so however, for my case, it was co co very complicated to take these awards you know, on board, <laughs> to take them home. So not all of them basically took it, but, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know. Well, thank you very much for bringing up this issue uh, into public, the uh, issue of equality. And thank you so much for this interesting conversation. Yeah, thank you so much. That was Victoria Lashenko, Program Coordinator of DocuDays UA. Thank you for watching Head to Head. I'm Alice Gerjuk. Goodbye.